Now, investing in Somalia means, in reality, investing in the region. Bringing about stability in Somalia means bringing about stability in the region. How do we prevent crises like the ones that we have had in Somalia for the past 20 or 30 years? It again comes back to the reality of how do we invest uh, as uh, global leaders. Uh, Somalia today stands in a position where we've made progress on political formation, on economic growth, on security. But the issue is that the world has been focusing on terrorism and how to fight terrorism in nations like Somalia. You cannot defeat terrorism through military means alone. You defeat them through investing in political processes, through creating jobs, through fighting corruption, through inclusive politics where women, youth, vulnerable groups are empowered, through putting system where people's hope and aspirations are seen through systems that they can recognize. How does, therefore, the world we live in today reflect the current realities? And why are we seeing new alliances made that are, are, coming, are, 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 are being made? The first, I think, question we need to look into how can we address the growing unilateralism and protectionism policies that are being formed globally? How do we address the question of competition that is becoming what is replacing cooperation? How do we again find a solution to the real reality of that? Is today's multilateral institutions, either being the UN Security Council, do they reflect the current world structure? Are they able to cater for the challenges we're facing? These are questions that we would need to answer. And how do we relate to organizations like the African Union that are becoming increasingly important, and how do we put emphasis into that?